so we're in this like six bedroom house here. I took one, I think I took one, the best video. Okay, I was gonna try to do a house tour either today or tomorrow because the lighting is really good. Chelsea's here with me, as always. This is this is our room, basically. If she has one just like this. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear yet, so we'll see. I kind of want to save a really cool outfit for like another night, but tonight should be iconic. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> Jumping in to give a thank you to Scale Network for being today's partner, which as of August 17th, 2022, excitingly hit 3 million gas-free scale transactions, which is only climbing. There are 23 scale chains active with over 26,000 users and over 26 and a half million in gas fees saved compared to Ethereum users. So for those of you who might be new to scale, it is an Ethereum native modular blockchain network, which is optimized for the Web3 user experience and in particular, what I really love, content creators. And as someone myself who is not too crazy about how much I end up paying an Ethereum native gas fees sometimes, especially if the network is really busy, it's taking a while, I paid an arm and a leg and I'm in a rush. <laughs> Scale Chains offer zero gas fees to end-to-end -end users, along with advanced features such as on-chain file storage, interchain messaging, zero cost minting, ML, AI smart contracts, and enhanced security features. I really value that it is still Ethereum native, borrowing its security features, but it is literally scalable given that capacity grows as new nodes join the network. The Scale Network enables developers to deploy their own EVM-compatible blockchain in just minutes without sacrificing speed, security, or decentralization. And impressively, the Scale Network is governed by the Scale DAO and is managed in a fully open and decentralized manner. And there are over 50 unique companies, business entities, organizations, and DAOs that work to support, run, and govern the Scale Network. For more information on Scale, I welcome you to check out the links below. And then before I head out, this is the look. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear with it yet because I don't know if it's a heel situation or not, but I'm wearing the set, like the IMG set. Okay, this is gonna stay. So it's this, you know, this, this angle. It's my favorite. It's a vibe. So yeah, we're wearing this tonight and um, I'm really happy with my makeup. I went out to the wind so my hair is really fucked up, but yeah, 100%. Good morning. This is the swimsuit for today. Already woke up at like 1 p.m. just because late night. Got some work done, hydrated, waiting on an IV drip, which we've ordered apparently. Um, but I'm wearing this swimsuit, which is probably my favorite. It's a little bit orangey red for my liking. It's really fucking windy outside, as you can see, but it is beautiful. So yeah, that's that. Gonna try to get some work done while waiting for the IV drip, which I guess will just look like this for. <laughs> Okay, so I'm running late, but this is the daytime beach look. So the full look is this like shawl thing that I've worn before. It's honestly like a night lingerie thing, but for the beach, I have this, I have my parts of four necklace, my Gucci shoes, Victoria's Secret set. And then without this, it's this, which has the bow peeking out of the back. So I might wear it like that depending on how things go. So the sunset tonight is not as intense because it's really cloudy. It is windy as fucking hell here and I was bored today and looked up why it's actually windy here. And it's like the, it's where the island is positioned between like North Africa and then the North Aegean Sea. Um, it's essentially creates like a weird wind effect here. Um, so we're at like the map of Mykonos is a big circle, a tiny circle in the middle if you know the maximum of Mykonos you know what I mean and we are on the little circle basically right in the middle and like a very high vantage point so we can kind of look out and see this and the actual pretty sunset is over there but I'm trying to get pictures we'll see so this is what we're all we're wearing Okay. So this is this is the look for everyone. This is a bad this is a bad location we're trying here. The tie set, Gucci shoes this time. This is a mood. So yeah. I have um, once again forgotten sunscreen, but do you ever bring sunscreen? Believe. Yeah, I do. I just when it's a morning event and I haven't showered yet, I don't run through my entire skincare sunblock routine. So I forget, I need to start when I'm in these places where my shower is at like 4 p.m. in the morning that I adjust accordingly. I'm 
looking down into my friend's house right now and the lighting it's just so pretty. I have to take a moment. But the view is the view is prettier than the lighting. <laughs> it's a very engaging Friday night here in Mykonos. We are doing work and catching up on checking our bills to make sure we're not paying for unnecessary <laughs> things. Um, after waiting a fucking hour, basically, which is no, not an hour. It was like 90, 100 minutes, probably nearly, which apparently according to uh, accounts is decent delivery time here in Mykonos because there's no like Uber Eats or anything like that. Like you have to fucking look at the restaurants, call the restaurants be like, do you deliver? This place, we went to uh, Oregano's because Whatever the place that the owner at the house recommended has not been a good place. So we, I ventured out, I went rogue, I used Google and I found a new place. So let's set up, let's see what food situation this is. We have uh, four bags here. So let's open all of them. Oh, this is my favorite. Very happy to see this. This is something, this is like seasonal greens. I love, Greeks do this thing where they're like sauteed greens. I don't know what green it is. I don't know if it's spinach, chard, some type of arugula type of thing, but they grill it or they saute it with lemon. Maybe some olive oil, I'm not really sure, but some lemon and it's really good. Basically, this is a cabbage dish. I'll show everything once it's, once it's down. Greens, cabbage, cabbage, some beans. These are some very watery beans, but beans nonetheless. We've got a fruit salad because I figured for after or later. Oh my God. Literally just like a, literally. <laughs> what? Okay, so they just like gave us this hunk of bread just in the bag. It's just literally in the bag. Okay. Okay, perfect. This is, this is up my alley. Some broccoli and carrots here with some lemon on everything, which is always nice. Uh, this, oh no, this is the dish that I really like. This is the greens. This is like greens and lemon. This is sauteed. This is really good. So amazing. These are zucchini balls. I think it's just like falafel, but zucchini, what I can tell. And grilled vegetables, which is nearly all mushrooms. I'm disgusted. Someone else can get this. So this is the entire situation. I'm pretty happy with it. Gonna have like leftovers for like a day. I'd say there's like a day. There's like two meals here. Cause this is like veggies and then there's some beans, but uh, 10 out of 10, very yes. This is the finished plate. I feel like it's just a nice moment commemorating being on the windiest fucking island in the world and that being the main reason why I just don't want to go outside. It's mm -hmm. like the fucking wind, walking with the car in the wind. Absolutely not, the hair already a mess. Good morning. My sunglasses broke, so I'm trying to film this with the camera right on the sun, <laughs> but I can't. My eyes don't burn off. Um, Chelsea is getting a massage right now. I'm waiting for mine. Um, we are cooking in the sun a bit. My baby hairs are doing their founding father mode, and um, trying to do a little bit of work on my phone, but I might as well just wait till after my massage so I don't like fall asleep in the middle of trying to be productive. But we have cold brew, which is a first. I've not had any coffee on this trip for the past four days at this point, so celebration. Good morning, it is 1 p.m., which is a normal wake up time at this point. I'm just adjusted to Eastern time, I'm telling myself. Um, I'm about to go downstairs and do some work by the pool, and I haven't worn this swimsuit since I was in Greece last, like last time, which was in May. Um, this is from Bahimi, which I've been wearing like all their swimsuits, not even sponsored, I just love them. This one is probably the simplest one I have. It's just polka dots. And I've been filming TikToks in here because the lighting is really good while people are downstairs cleaning. Really need to re-dye my hair. As you can see, the sun takes the red out of it, makes it like copper. So I'll need to re-dye it today. This is the downstairs area, by the way. I think people are asleep, so really quiet. I didn't ever really show the entire house because there's people like throughout it, but this is the kitchen, dining table. We have like a DJ set over here that we set up. And then this is the living area. And out here is the pool. So I'm in this outfit again that I wore in Berlin, but I'm wearing it out to our sunset dinner. I just got the biggest news for Asterace yet. Just the biggest like check confirmed from people that I really love. So I'm so happy. Uh, this angle is terrible, but this is the outfit. So this situation, uh, these shoes, adorable. It's a mood. Um, and yeah, just very happy, like insane, insane. So yeah, very, yeah. That house over there is just killing it. Playing some music. Then Layla sitting here looking like goddess, just golden. Anyway, very good day today. I deserve to celebrate a tiny bit. I don't know how. Maybe I'll just 
I don't know, we'll see. It's been a long fucking day. I've been at Soho House mostly working and just with my friends the other day. Um, as you can see, a hair, absolute mess. I don't even know where to begin. It's been a, um, it's been a time. I'm supposed to do a yacht today. I think it ended up being too windy and just not a feasible option. So I'm happy to have my last night in Mykonos. I talked about this a lot on my Instagram stories. So I might insert some of those and play a little bit of my commentary. Cause honestly it was funny. Like the shit we went through today. If you're ever thinking about coming to Mykonos, just be warned, like this wind is actually insane. We're shielded right now, like inside, uh, but standing up. Who, cho who, who chose this as like the art? To, uh, to develop on this, I would also say choose any other vacation location. Like as someone who doesn't drink, I'm bored as hell. You can't work out anywhere. The gyms are outdoor and I'll get blown You're away. I'm not a raver. I'm not a raver. I'm not a drinker. I can't pretend. I'm bored as hell. I'm not complaining. I'm just giving it to you straight. Choose any other location. Choose a different Greek island. Full disclosure. Yeah. Anything like me. If you're an alcoholic, don't fuck with me. Whatever. Get, but like, we're gonna get stopped at the airport. I'm not gonna get so stopped at the airport. Gonna, they're gonna. They're gonna kick. Those videos. <laughs> Fuck the country. And like fully real talk. Um, the level of entitlement here is amusing. I've traveled the world. I've seen a lot of like, I, I mean, I joke around and act really like whatever, but I'm actually just like, I can't take it seriously. And I just like sit on the corner of clubs and trade. But here the level of entitlement is where at clubs, people are running into one another because they're so used to other people getting out of their way. So specifically groups of women that are not used to seeing where other people temporally are around them in time and space. They're running into one another because they're used to other people moving out of the way for them. But when everyone is used to everyone else running out of the way for them, it becomes a show with these clubs, venues, whatever. So that's just my INTJ observation. No judgment, just that's the that's what I remember. But to reiterate my experience with Mcnos, because probably want to hear it firsthand, in no way is me criticizing the place, showing that I'm ungrateful or did not appreciate going or take it for granted that I'm able to come here. We fucking get it. It's expensive to come here. You end up being expensive and spending money when you're here. And it's not somewhere that most people in the world can ever be or get to. So in no way is me saying this out of entitlement. It's me being honest with people that are travelers or are curious about what I recommend, what I don't, in the same way that I'm not going to speak highly of a place, an airline, a resort, anything just because I'm thankful to go there. Like even I can be thankful and still criticize it because it's not my favorite and I didn't really enjoy it to the level that I hoped I would, which I can be honest about. There are many nicer beaches, nicer weather, nicer places, more interesting places than Mykonos, including the other Greek islands. I'm lucky to have a close friend who has a home in Skopelos. So in a few months or next summer, I probably will go there and be able to compare it. As well as I would love to visit Santorini, which is really touristy, I know. Maybe even some of the less well-known ones or like Crete. I would love to go to Crete sometime time. I would love to go to Thessaloniki and other places in Greece because I think Greece is amazing and lovely and really cool place. But Mykonos itself is a fairly small rock. It's a fucking rock. It's a ton of hills. It's rocky. There's not really vegetation, which I mean, I love Dubai. I'm not going to complain about that, but it's not like a city either. It's a little town with windy roads and you're plummeting, rising up. The roads are very small and you're basically just kind of like going from car to car to house to house to outside area, outside area because you can't really walk around. It's literally a safety hazard. Like if you're on Google Maps, you'll notice that it'll say very very steep or big drop because you just can't really go on walks. Like I've tried and I basically have to do little like block laps around the same five minute radius because it's kind of difficult, at least on Ornos, which is where I'm staying. Like I don't mind saying where I'm staying. If you look at a map of Mykonos, it's one big island, but there's a main part, a tiny sliver, and then like a little side part. I'm in the side part, which is known as like, I don't even know, it's AG something. So for us to go from here to like Namos or Scorpios down here, or for us to go to the main town, it's kind of a drive. We're in a very nice area, but it's secluded, which is kind of inconvenient for getting everywhere, which means we're taking taxis. We can't walk anywhere and no one can walk anywhere. No one is walking. Like even when we went to our friend's villa uh, closer to uh, Thulu, I don't even know, TH area. There's an area that starts with a TH. Even that, which is close to town, you had to like take a car because it's so steep just to get down this little ramp basically. So I, I can't say that I would ever return unless literally someone is paying all expenses, all taxis. It's a 50 euro taxi to get from here, 10 minute drive down to like a coffee shop or to 
50. Like it's going to be 50 euros minimum. If there's more people, if there's over four people, if it's five to six people, it's 80 euros. Literally it's, it was 50 to 80 euros for every single drive that we had here, which is that, that that's insane. And I get it. It's because the drivers are generally professional drivers or security personnel that also do driving. They're like, not just your everyday taxi driver. Every single taxi driver is like a professional basically. Um, Every time you get in a cab, you have to write down your name, your passport number, contact information, where you're from. Every single taxi is registering every ride. You will not, you will not get in a taxi unless they register who's in it and like the, the entire ride. It just is not going to be that way. And if they don't do it, their license will be taken away. So that's just that. That's like part of the whole process. But what there is to do here is go to like the very nice restaurants, have a huge meal overlooking the sunset and the water or whatever. And then you just go out and like drink a lot at these clubs, which are very there to be seen and like just see other people. I mean, I just can't take those things seriously. Like in some ways I'm tacky, I'm exuberant, I like expensive bougie shit. I'm not into being fake at a club with bottle service. Like that is where I'm like, I can't relate to this. I don't enjoy it. I went out to this club and we thought it was a restaurant. It wasn't, I, maybe I didn't understand. And so the only food they had this place that I could eat was like a vegetable pizza, which was just tomatoes and tomato sauce on bread, which is fine. But like, I'm sitting there at this club, just like filming myself eating a pizza. Cause I'm like, I, I can't stand this. <laughs> and I feel bad. And, no, I don't, I don't feel bad, but I feel a little bit out of place. I don't, I mean, the beach clubs are just like BBL central. I'm not even, I, I'm enjoying when I'm there. Like if you're one of the people watching and you're like, how dare she? No, I fucking enjoy being with you guys and my friends. I just, I can meme about it. And I can be like the people with their PBL like on the beach, whereas the serving staff is like running around. And I spoke about this on Instagram story, but the peak level of entitlement that I've seen at several places around the world is when people are so used to people walking around them and acknowledging where they're going to go that they forget to move out of the way for other people. Like you're so used to always having other people move out of the way for you and hold open doors for you to where when it's everyone from around the world that's mega entitled, they're running into one another. Because especially groups of women, because rarely do women realize where someone else is gonna be. They're not used to accommodating for other women. They're not used to holding open the, the door. They're not used to overseeing and overlooking the movement of people in time and space. These groups of women are just like bombarding, like the middle school hallway phenomenon of five people in a row and you're like, how do I get by, bitch? Like, can you like queue up so I can get by? that but times a million at these clubs where everyone's trying to get in and women in like heels on the beach and it's just a lot not that men don't do this too don't get me wrong but it's it's you know what i mean like generally groups of women that are not used to letting other people go first so they're like kind of bombarding and taking up space that's the epitome of what i'd say here and again i'm not ungrateful like i had a good time like certain situations and beach clubs with my friends and it was great nice to see my friends those of you who i hung out with you know who you are like we're talking about this together do not think i'm i'm not sub tweeting or like sub talking about anyone it's just the dynamic here because if I was with you, then you saw me with this and we were talking about this. So I like the Soho house here. The Soho house is pretty, the Soho rock house, which you can't film at. So I didn't take any videos there aside from like food, which they didn't really notice. They, they'll get mad at me if they notice, which may, I, I don't have a membership. They're not letting anyone in from what I can see. I'm just automatically waitlisted. Um, if you have a Soho house in or you're a Soho house person and watching this, I would love to pay the highest, like contribute. I love, I love going. So like, I would like to be a member. If you can get me off the waitlist, please let me know. Besides that, I mean, the best place we went to was Scorpio's. The food at Scorpio's was incredible. The steamed greens, the vegetables, the green beans, the potatoes, the tabbouleh kale salad. Those were all really good at Scorpio's, which is known for its food. It's really windy. I don't enjoy the beach party part. I don't care about standing around. I'm not a big fan of like beach house music. I really like Bergheim dark techno where it's like industrial. I think that's fun to be around. I don't think like beach party techno is really my thing at all. So I can't say that again, I would not come back unless all expenses paid from some uh, event that might be sponsored me. Um, fuck you if you're in the comments saying she must be with some guy here. Like, no, I pay for the house and I'm waiting for the guys to pay me back that are staying here in other parts that I've not really even seen that much because every, like multiple groups of people are here having it. Like it, it's, it's my group of close friends and some other people that are around as well. So yeah, yeah screw you. Like it would have been nice to maybe have some, some, some like guy around maybe to ward off the, I don't even know, uh, but whatever. Uh, it's going to be me, just me for a while. So no complaints, just me being my Capricorn rising, like pessimist kind of funny like I'm always like if you're an INTJ, you get it, or maybe just heavy Capricorn placements, but we can talk about things and criticize things. Honestly, this is a Virgo thing. We can criticize the shit out of things and not have it be complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm incredibly grateful to be here. I'm laughing as I'm saying this. Like, I think it's funny that I'm able to say these things, but I would not return 
hear of my own merit because of the wind, because of the inability to do anything besides drink. And if you're like me, you don't drink alcohol. What are you going to do? Stand around? I'm not going to go to you while you're like getting drunk. I don't really care. If you smoke weed, I've never seen weed on the island. Uh, so I don't know. And there's presence of other drugs on the island. I'll get demonetized if I talk about that. But it's from what I understand, like that's around and pretty like simple to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go there but basically like it's you're not gonna be left out if you don't drink but you do other things but I mean being at a club I would say like at a club it's only enjoyable if you're drinking a lot I, I don't find these clubs enjoyable with like other things not really the vibe if you're on medicines of any kind essentially like I mean probably if you want to do a beautiful like trip in the like Delos we didn't go to Delos Delos is this Greek ruins on this island and it's very close to Mykonos it's like a 20-30 minute ferry ride and Delos is known for being the birthplace of Apollo and Artemis and it's a really well preserved place it was too windy today to go on the ferry to go there so we didn't get to go I didn't really care that much frankly I don't really care about ruins history I just look at a picture I'm okay uh, I don't pretend to be deep or really get that much out of experiences like that I just want to work and like put stuff out and be in a place that's conducive for that. It's impossible to be um, productive here if I'm honest. I'm trying to get a lot out. I'm all over the place. 10 minute clip right now, which is fine, but it's hard to be productive here. Um, if anyone is raving about it, ask if they were drinking during this time. If you're not a drinker, again, I would say pass, go to a different island unless someone is paying for you to be here. If you really like Greek food, maybe, but honestly, the town is a shit show because it's so crowded on people on bikes everywhere. We're like dodging. We got yelled out at the health food store today because they were saying no photos because they were like, I don't even get it. I don't get it. Whatever. We were just thrown out of health food store for filming us trying to get chocolate. I know. If only he'd And now it. about to get actually run over by a vehicle. It's chaos. Do, do not, do not try this at home. I, I, my hair is a mess. Uh, I don't even care. Um, I'm very happy to go to Frankfurt tomorrow. So I'm going to conclude this vlog with like a... I'm very grateful to have been here. No, I didn't have any sisterhood of the traveling pants or romantic meet a Greek waiter experiences. I, I didn't, I, I mean, I got some cool new sunglasses, which these are the, my sunglasses broke, the lens fell out. So I got these Gucci sunglasses. I could find no red ones. So I'm like, fuck it. We are balling. We're going to the Gucci resort collection. And we're going to get these, uh, these Saborski crystals. I don't fucking know, but we ball if we can't do anything else. I'm just admiring myself because these do look good. I was deciding between these and like really normal Gucci Ray-Ban shape. I was like, no, we're going to go with the these. These are the, the runway collection from Gucci. So yeah, I guess this is very Mykonos to wear sunglasses inside. Like bitches wearing sunglasses at the club. I was like, no one knows who you are. Do not wear sunglasses at the club. You can, you can, you can stop. There was this old man at our table, by the way, on the first night. I don't remember what your name was. You might be watching this video because you seemed well connected. I don't even know. Apparently he was 84. He was at the club at our table. I don't know who this was. And he was asking me like, do you model like all this? He's like, yay, hi. He's short. I'm like leaning down. I'm like, uh, no, I don't model. I'm five, three and a half. I'm just and heels and then he gets this woman who's with him as like his handler this like he's like this uh this geriatric man at this club has a woman young woman with him as like in a club where you're like handling him and she's like he wants to ask you something i'm gonna like communicate it i was like okay he's like he wants to pursue a relationship with you i was like i'm out i'm out of the club i i don't i'm i'm good i'm good thank you sir and then i told some like friends that and they're like yeah or whatever it was it was just yeah, I didn't. That was my one club experience. Besides that, I mostly stayed in with friends, hung out at pools, been back here, un unable to fall asleep before 4 a.m., even though I'm not going out. So it felt a little stupid. It's like, I'm not even going out and I'm, I'm not out. Like, I can't even sleep. So that's that. But thankfully, got some major checks in for Astrace. That was really, really amazing. Like, taking those calls here and not going out or doing things because I'm like on calls, but I really, really landed some amazing investors. So if you're one of them and you watch my video, like, you made my fucking week and like S Trace is going well. We're developing things, really nailing down concept and development. Just that's going well. So I'm happy about that, but I'll close out the vlog. Um, no need to harp on these things. I explained them in the videos I've inserted. Basically, they're just me going off, explaining. Got some cool sunglasses. Uh, now I have to go through all the pictures because I should post something. I, sh I should post something, uh, but Besides that, um, I'll see you in another part of the world. I'm going to Frankfurt for a day, then Vegas for a few days, and then LA, and then New York for my birthday. So that will be a cool time. But um, this concludes the Euro travel, unless I film anything in Frankfurt. I doubt it, but I'll enjoy myself. I'll enjoy myself. See you in another part of the world. Oh, there is one.